code 9 l02 this is the assessment of listening skills for class 9 students the test is being conducted jointly by the central board of secondary education and trinity college london there are four tasks for completing the listening test task 1 you will hear some tips on good posture read the notes give it in your worksheet then listen to the tips and complete the notes with one or two words only you will hear the recording twice you now have 30 seconds to read the questions task 1 good posture improves appearance gives confidence and keeps your back strong here are some steps for improving your posture when standing hold your head up pull your stomach in keep your chest forward and your knees straight to avoid injuring your back when sitting a chair with a backrest will keep your back straight when walking never bend over your desk sit with your knees making a right angle and your feet flat on the floor when lying down lie with your head on a pillow so that your spine is in a natural position while lifting things bend at the knees so that your leg muscles take the weight not your back while lifting keep the object close to your body now you will hear the recording again good posture improves appearance gives confidence and keeps your back strong here are some steps for improving your posture when standing hold your head up pull your stomach in keep your chest forward and your knees straight to avoid injuring your back when sitting A chair with a backrest will keep your back straight. When walking, never bend over your desk. Sit with your knees making a right angle and your feet flat on the floor. When lying down, lie with your head on a pillow so that your spine is in a natural position. While lifting things, bend at the knees so that your leg muscles take the weight. not your back while lifting keep the object close to your body you now have 10 seconds to check your answers task 2 you will hear a girl and her friend having a conversation about growing bonsai plants as a hobby read the statements given in your worksheet then listen to the conversation and choose five of the options a to h which are correct write the correct letters in the blank boxes you will hear the recording twice which five of the following statements are true you now have 30 seconds to read the questions Task 2 I like to spend my free time playing badminton. What about you? Is there a particular sport you like? Well, I'm not really into sports. I'm more into gardening. 
I enjoy growing bonsai plants. My grandmother taught me the art and it's become a wonderful hobby. Bonsai are they a special kind of plant? Yes, bonsai are very small trees that are grown in tray-like containers or small pots. The word bonsai comes from Japan where they were cultivated initially way back in the early 14th century. That's a rather unique hobby, but I can't understand how a tree even if it's a small one grows in a pot. I know, it's hard to believe, but the trees are cut regularly and are trained to grow to a maximum height of about 3 feet. In fact, some bonsai are also so small that they can fit in the palm of your hand. But still, they resemble fully grown trees. Tell me, how long do bonsai plants live? Oh, most bonsai trees have a very long life. In fact, some bonsai trees live for over a hundred years and are lovingly passed down from one generation to the next. How interesting. I think a bonsai would also make a good gift. Next time, I'll give my friends a bonsai rather than a bouquet of flowers that would die in a few days. A good idea, indeed. And I could teach you how to grow and look after a bonsai. Oh, thank you. That would be nice. Is it difficult to grow a bonsai? Well, yes. A lot of care is required to maintain a tree's health in a small pot. Oh, really? Yes. Raising bonsai requires controlling the shape the trees take. You need to bend branches with wires and cut them regularly. Bonsai also need regular reporting. This is a process where overgrown roots are cut before replanting in new soil. Oh my, this is definitely not easy. It requires a lot of patience and creativity. In fact, it's no less than an art, isn't it? Exactly. That's why growing bonsai is called an artistic hobby. It's an art that has no end as there is no such thing as finished bonsai. As long as the trees are alive, they must be cared for on a daily basis. True. So, when can I see your collection of bonsai? Oh, do drop in any time tomorrow. Now, you will hear the recording again. I like to spend my free time playing badminton. What about you? Is there a particular sport you like? Well, I'm not really into sports. I'm more into gardening. I enjoy growing bonsai plants. My grandmother taught me the art and it's become a wonderful hobby. Bonsai, are they a special kind of plant? Yes, bonsai are very small trees that are grown in tray-like containers or small pots. The word bonsai comes from Japan where they were cultivated initially way back in the early 14th century. That's a rather unique hobby, but I can't understand how a tree, even if it's a small one, grows in a pot. I know, it's hard to believe. But the trees are cut regularly and are trained to grow to a maximum height of about 3 feet. In fact, some bonsai are also so small that they can fit in the palm of your hand. But still, they resemble fully grown trees. Tell me, how long do bonsai plants live? Oh, most bonsai trees have a very long life. In fact, some bonsai trees live for over a hundred years and are lovingly passed down from one generation to the next. How interesting! I think a bonsai would also make a good gift. Next time, I'll give my friends a bonsai rather than a bouquet of flowers that would die in a few days. A good idea, indeed. And I could teach you how to grow and look after a bonsai. Oh, thank you. That would be nice. Is it difficult to grow a bonsai? Well, yes. A lot of care is required to maintain a tree's health in a small pot. Oh, really? Yes. Raising bonsai requires controlling the shape the trees take. You need to bend branches with wires and cut them regularly. Bonsai also need regular reporting. This is a process where overgrown roots are cut before replanting in new soil. Oh my! This is definitely not easy. It requires a lot of patience and creativity. In fact, it's no less than an art, isn't it? Exactly. That's why growing bonsai is called an artistic hobby. It's an art that has no end as there is no such thing as finished bonsai. As long as the trees are alive, they must be cared for on a daily basis. True. So, when can I see your collection of bonsai? Oh, do drop in any time tomorrow. You now have 10 seconds to check your answers. Task 3 
you will hear five short extracts of people expressing their views on music. Read the statements given in your worksheet, then listen to the extracts and match each statement A to G to each speaker 1 to 5. There are two statements you do not need. You will hear the recording twice. You now have 30 seconds to read the questions. Task 3. Speaker 1. I am a marathon runner and I use music to enhance my performance. Do you find that difficult to believe? It's true, you know. Just try training, listening to some music. Time will fly and you won't realize how well body movement and coordination have improved. I hardly feel tired even after 3 to 4 hours of rigorous practice. Speaker 2. Maybe you have no time to listen to music due to a very busy lifestyle. But you should fit in some time for music on the radio while having a shower, eating your breakfast or working out. You could even listen to music while driving. Listening to soft music at bedtime is also a good idea. It will help you in more ways than one. Speaker 3. I've read that music helps disabled children improve motor coordination and communication. Scientific studies reveal that music speeds up healing in patients after surgery. It calms angry people, makes the restless more relaxed and reduces pain from a range of painful conditions. Doctors say Music helps release certain healing chemicals within the body that fight pain. That's wonderful, isn't it? Speaker 4 Did you know babies as young as 5 months respond to music? Apparently, they find it more interesting than speech. Young students who choose music as an extracurricular activity develop a higher verbal IQ than those who don't. Music is also a great bridge between teenagers and their parents and prevents arguments and misunderstandings. It's too good to be true. Speaker 5 Certain music and songs with offensive lyrics can influence our minds as well as our emotions negatively. If music can make a good mood better, it can also make a bad mood worse. Music at times also distracts us from our work or studies. So I feel we need to be careful about the music we listen to. Now you will hear the recording again. Speaker 1 I am a marathon runner and I use music to enhance my performance. Do you find that difficult to believe? It's true, you know. Just try training, listening to some music. Time will fly and you won't realize how well body movement and coordination have improved. I hardly feel tired even after 3 to 4 hours of rigorous practice. Speaker 2 Maybe you have no time to listen to music due to a very busy lifestyle. But you should fit in some time for music on the radio while having a shower, eating your breakfast or working out. You could even listen to music while driving. Listening to soft music at bedtime is also a good idea. It will help you in more ways than one. Speaker 3 I've read that music helps disabled children improve motor coordination and communication. Scientific studies reveal that music speeds up healing in patients after surgery. It calms angry people, makes the restless more relaxed 
and reduces pain from a range of painful conditions. Doctors say music helps release certain healing chemicals within the body that fight pain. That's wonderful, isn't it? Speaker 4 Did you know babies as young as 5 months respond to music? Apparently, they find it more interesting than speech. Young students who choose music as an extracurricular activity develop a higher verbal IQ than those who don't. Music is also a great bridge between teenagers and their parents and prevents arguments and misunderstandings. It's too good to be true. Speaker 5 Certain music and songs with offensive lyrics can influence our minds as well as our emotions negatively. If music can make a good mood better, it can also make a bad mood worse. Music at times also distracts us from our work or studies. So I feel we need to be careful about the music we listen to. You now have 10 seconds to check your answers. Task 4. You will hear a scientist address students on how to be successful in life. Read the questions given in your worksheet, then listen to the extract and choose A or B or C for each question. You will hear the recordings twice. You now have 30 seconds to read the questions. Task 4. Good morning, dear students. It's an honor to address you, the future leaders of the world. All of you come to school to receive an education for a better life. But the truth is that many of the things needed to succeed in life are learned outside the classroom. In fact, there is something to learn from everything. What's required is a willingness to learn. You can even learn very important lessons for a successful life from creatures as small as ants. For instance, the first thing you can learn from ants is the importance of setting goals. Ants know what to do in every season. They plan well in advance and work hard to avoid famine. In order to move forward purposefully, you must have goals in your life. I would say a goal helps show you the way ahead. The next thing you can learn from ants is determination. It doesn't matter how long it takes or how many obstacles they encounter Ants always find a way to reach their destination. Now, if you face a challenge, what do you do? How do you cope? Ants teach us that no matter how terrifying things may look, you should never quit or lose hope. Ants ignore all that comes in the way of achieving their objective. If you put your finger in an ant's path, it just walks around it and marches on to where it's heading. Similarly, you shouldn't let anything get in the way of realizing your objective. For example, if there's a lot of homework to do, don't let the television divert your attention before you complete it. Ants always work in a team. When one ant finds food, it informs the others 
so that everyone can share it. You should do the same with regard to knowledge and resources. Remember, knowledge unshared can't be used for the progress and well-being of mankind. Finally, we find ants just about anywhere. It's remarkable how they've managed to get the most out of living with human beings. Walk in the forest and you'll find ants. Move into a new house and you'll eventually find them there. Like them, you too should adapt to your surroundings and when things change, learn to make the most of it. Watching ants is an incredible experience. The lessons they teach are priceless. I believe these lessons can certainly help you succeed in life. Thank you. Now you will hear the recording again. Good morning, dear students. It's an honor to address you, the future leaders of the world. All of you come to school to receive an education for a better life. But the truth is that many of the things needed to succeed in life are learned outside the classroom. In fact, there is something to learn from everything. What's required is a willingness to learn. You can even learn very important lessons for a successful life from creatures as small as ants. For instance, the first thing you can learn from ants is the importance of setting goals. Ants know what to do in every season. They plan well in advance and work hard to avoid famine. In order to move forward purposefully, you must have goals in your life. I would say a goal helps show you the way ahead. The next thing you can learn from ants is determination. It doesn't matter how long it takes or how many obstacles they encounter, ants always find a way to reach their destination. Now, if you face a challenge, what do you do? How do you cope? Ants teach us that no matter how terrifying things may look, you should never quit or lose hope. Ants ignore all that comes in the way of achieving their objective. If you put your finger in an ant's path, it just walks around it and marches on to where it's heading. Similarly, you shouldn't let anything get in the way of realizing your objective. For example, if there's a lot of homework to do, don't let the television divert your attention before you complete it. Ants always work in a team. When one ant finds food, it informs the others so that everyone can share it. You should do the same with regard to knowledge and resources. Remember, knowledge unshared can't be used for the progress and well-being of mankind. Finally, we find ants just about anywhere. It's remarkable how they've managed to get the most out of living with human beings. Walk in the forest and you'll find ants. Move into a new house and you'll eventually find them there. Like them, you too should adapt to your surroundings and when things change, learn to make the most of it. Watching ants is an incredible experience. The lessons they teach are priceless. I believe these lessons can certainly help you succeed in life. Thank you. You now have 10 seconds to check your answers. That is the end of the test.